Welcome back everybody to another Jaden Day Zero Reviews video games. Even though I barely ever do these kinds of videos, like, ever. Like, I think I believe I did, like, two other reviews, like, a while ago. So there's that, but I rarely ever do these video game reviews. But today I'm gonna be looking at the game called Nicole on the Nintendo Switch. This game was developed by Winter Wolf Games. I'll put the logo somewhere on the screen for you guys to, to look at and published by I might be butchering this name so hard so I'm sorry ahead of time to the publishing company Ratalaika Games. They're basically a distributor or a publishing company that take um, developers games and you know publish it on different platforms like Switch, PS4, Xbox, etc. So Nicole Yes, this game. I'm just going to read a quick description of the game for you guys. Nicole is a dating simulator that revolves around your day-to-day -day life as a college student. Classes, homework, because you know everybody loves doing homework even in video games, and mysterious abductions. So there is a little bit of mystery thriller in this game. You can take up part-time jobs to earn money. Just what I want to do. Do jobs in video games, my favorite. Explore various locations, do recreational and extracurricular activities, and meet intriguing characters like Darren, Kurt, Jeff, and Ted. You might even get to date the culprit. Features include four different boys to date with ten different endings. Discover the true identity of the culprit. Careful, you could be dating him. Classic dating simulator and life simulation gameplay. Visual level mode with reading only option. So this game, yes, this game, <laughs> oof man, like I don't know what the people that contacted me to talk about this game was thinking because this game is mostly catered to girls because this is from a girl's perspective so you get to date different guys. So this might be a game from like let's say my girlfriend or you know somebody who's into these otome games. I think that's what they're called otome games. It's like when it's about the guys and not not the um you know the whole story i guess but i assume this game has some kind of thriller plot to it just so you guys know i've only played like literally the the gameplay that you're seeing right now on the screen is, is what i played and that was my first run through i have not played this game through to the end so yeah don't expect me to know what's going on or know everything what's going on all i know is what the synopsis said about this girl who basically just recently moved to florida to go to this college campus and she basically meets up with these guys and stuff and i guess within this game i pretty much pissed off all the guys <laughs> Oof. the guys in the game probably already know that hey you're not a girl you're a you're a you're a guy playing as a girl or something like that i don't know but this visual novel as it stated um has different modes you can play like not only can you play this as a visual novel just for the story like if you want a more um simulation day-to-day -day simulation kind of thing um like a lot of visual novels usually do um you can do that you have stats as you can see on the screen it can boost your characters you know happiness amity wit and all that kind of stuff and depending on how smart you are or how witty you are and stuff like that you get to unlock different routes with these characters and all that kind of stuff but if you don't want to deal with all that stat stuff you know there is a mode in, within this game that you can just do visual novel only and you don't have to worry about that stuff and have to go to all, all these different locations although i did try to do visual novel mode it did not let me for some reason i don't know i might i think i pressed the wrong button or it could be that the nintendo switch version is a little buggy i don't know rata uh, rata like games if you're watching this or the developer of this game winter wolf games if you think i'm dumb or something please tell me because i have no idea if if i if it's buggy or not but anyways this game is available for nintendo switch playstation 4 and xbox one for $18.99 so if you guys want to pick this up i would totally go for it if you're into these otome games personally me i'm not really into this game i mean this is for girls 
and meant to be for girls. I I don't know if the, the people who sent me this game thought I was be interested in this just because I cover visual novels on my channel. I don't like these dating simulators. It's not my thing. So although I can say that I love like like the art style, gorgeous, like whoever illustrated or who, whoever was the art director for this game, like kudos to you. Big, big kudos to you. I really love your art style. Um, especially the backgrounds they are very cool and awesome looking. Although I don't know about the names of the characters, the names, like they look so anime-ish, yet their names is like Ted and like Frank and like, bruh, like really, really just does not look right with that character design because they look so anime-ish with these American-ish names and they're, they go to Florida and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> They're gonna they're gonna run into the Florida man who stabbed this one woman like last Tuesday or some BS stuff like that. that's probably what the mystery thriller thriller is. It's, it's about that Florida man that came on the news. I don't know, but it looks pretty interesting. If this is the kind of game you guys are into, you know, I would totally pick this up for personally for me. I'm not really interested. Um, I played a little bit of this game and it, I guess for what it is, it's okay. If this game was catered towards guys demographic then i'd probably more than likely um you know read through the story a little bit at least play an hour worth of the game or an hour worth of the story just to get a sense of the environment and the character development and stuff and how it is but this game is like guy stuff and i know some guys actually do play otome games um whether they are gay or not um, because, you know, sometimes the story outweighs the fact that it's a Notome game. But that's just what I've seen so far, or I've heard around. But, like I said, if you're a girl and you like Otome games, definitely a pickup. Although I can't really tell you whether the story is good or not, because I, I didn't really bother playing through the whole thing. I just played a little bit of it, but based on what I've played, it's, it's decent. It's, it's pretty good for what it is. I really don't have anything else to say about this game other than that. Um, if you think I should play a different Otome game that I actually might like, please send it my way or like leave a comment <laughs> in the comment section below. It's like, oh, you, need you. you should totally check out this Otome game even though it's for girls. It's totally good story. Like I'm always a sucker for a good story. So if it's, I don't care if it's a if they're guys or not like if it's a really really intense psychological thriller story then bruh send it my way totally other than that yeah hope you guys have a great fantastic week and like again as always um subscribe to my channel turn out the notification thing and yeah are you guys gonna pick this up if not would you if it was on clearance or any of that kind of stuff because if this was like a dollar something on the on the um, Nintendo shop, then I'd probably pick it up for like a dollar. Otherwise, you know, it's not really something I would personally pick up. Other than that, have a fantastic week and peace.